So recently I said that I wanted to daily vlog and I said that one of my biggest concerns is that I wouldn't be able to pull up and have the time. And ever since I made this video, one of the most asked questions had to be, Pimpin, wh what do you do for work? And now since y'all some ninja bosses and we on that Wi-Fi, let's talk about it. Quick side note, it is crazy busy right here for some reason. Why? What are everybody doing in my hood for? <laughs> Ah, I see. It looks like they're doing renovations to this place right here. This used to be a yogurt cafe and it closed down. I think it was called Yogurt Barn? Yogurt Barn. Oh man, look at all the construction right over there. And then quick side note, this is, this is not a cafe. This is a, um, this is a weed shop. <laughs> All right, my ninjas, I'm getting completely off topic. Back to what exactly is it I do for a living? The answer is kind of simple, and it's I, I work in television. Because you see, back when I was in Atlanta, I initially wanted to be an actor, but it didn't, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't your boy Sky. But you see, I still wanted to be an entertainer. I still want to work in the industry. So I looked around, I saw what else you could do like in the television industry and I decided to go the producer route. And now the problem with this was that the college that I was going to at the time didn't offer any media studies, didn't offer nothing television or entertainment related. So I went ahead and majored in marketing. And then on the side piece, went ahead and did a ton of internships in television. So yeah, my ninjas, I was working full time as well as going to school full time. And then in my, in the free time I had left, I was doing internships. I was working on movies, working on shows. I, I was doing whatever I could do to get in. And then I finally landed a gig with Full On One The Show where I was kind of a, uh, I was like a permanent PA. And then after working for just a couple of months, cause I'm a boss, I was then Promote it to a segment producer. Don't get <laughs> But anyway, in this segment producer role, my job was to literally, I was in charge of a segment called Check Please. And my job was to go to like a restaurant or a pop in place, like a hop in place in Atlanta, check it out, go eat, like get a full experience. And then if I enjoyed it, go talk to the owner, talk to some managers and see if we can come and film. Hence the name Check Please. And not for nothing, this is also where I remember a couple of times I had to be on camera like I was the producer as well as the host and it was the most fun. But I'm not gonna lie, this is when your boys got money. I was, I was lacking, I was lacking the sauce. But it was so much fun and I just gained so much experience. And not only was the experience great, but this was when I knew I was on the right path and I truly, truly want to work in television as some kind of producer. So with my ninjas, I went ahead and finished up college, which by the way, I like struck like pimp and it was, it was a struggle. <laughs> but yeah, I finished up college, moved to LA, and then I pursued a career in television in LA. I started all over, I moved to LA by myself like a boss. By the time I got to LA, I had a ton of skills on my belt that I'll be honest, I did not learn in school because I remember I majored in marketing, but I knew how to work with directors, I knew how to work with talent, I also knew how to, I knew how to break down episodes of shows as well as breakdowns of like talk shows. And on top of that, I also knew how to edit, I knew how to work with cameras, and these skills came from just just me learning on my own. And I did tell a story before. As a matter of fact, I actually vlogged when I went back to LA and I told this whole story. And I also did a vlog about how YouTube kind of changed my life because I'm gonna be real. When I got to LA, it was, it was a bit rough. I didn't pick up anything like right away, but then it picked up maybe a couple of months after. And I eventually got an internship that turned into a sort of kind of part-time job for the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. And while I was at the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, I was working as a PA and researcher and not for nothing, I'm gonna be real, I got to meet a ton of great people. I was then tipped off about a position with CBS On Air promo because the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson was filmed at CBS, it aired on CBS. So I was already at the lot. I knew everybody because your boy Sky Money. I mean, I just, hey, I can't help it, but I be talking to everybody. So now when I heard about this position, a full-time position for on-air promo, I hopped on it and that was when I got my big break. And I believe the reason I got my big break was because I was also dabbling in YouTube at the time. 
showed the guy who interviewed me, Rick, I showed him the videos and yeah, he, he, he liked my sauce. And the department of on-air promo is kind of where I made my home. I pretty much started from the bottom. I was working my way up to the point where I was editing a bunch of commercials, editing a bunch of behind the scenes footage, even went to a ton of shoots. And I kind of was still working my way up. And the goal for me there was to eventually become a creative director. Now fast forward today, and as you could probably guess, I am no longer in CBS On Air promo, but I do still work in television. And now I am no longer with CBS On Air promo. I actually quit the job when we moved out here. So I actually moved out here without a job. And now luckily for me though, there is actually a CBS location here, CBS International location, and there was a position available. And it was, it was temporary, but it was a position. I had no job, so I applied and I, and I got hired. Man, okay, so one thing you'll notice when you vlog is when you are in the zone, that's when somebody wanna come and sit right next to you and then play loud music and then also start smoking. Like, the pimpin they know I'm a gangster? You don't just be rolling up on a thug like that? <laughs> all right now, in all seriousness though, I don't mind people coming and sit next to me, but what I do mind, and this kills me, is when people come and sit next to me and start smoking right next to me with my kids. Like, geez, come on guys, come on. But anyway, my ninjas, yes, I ended up taking this temp job. It was for about eight months and yeah, things worked out. I then saw another position or actually a recruiter reached out to me for another position. And in this position, I am more like a, I'm a streaming manager because you know, streaming is super hot right now. Everybody's doing it. And the job is actually pretty good. The only thing is that it's not, it's not very creative. It's yeah, it's actually not creative at all, but it is, remote. And this is something that I am super grateful for because it is so good for my family as well as my business as well as just me. Like it is extremely good for me. So I do not take the job for granted and I and I actually really like the job. I do wish it was a little creative, but hey, you know, you got to you got to do what you got to do. And if you're creative, then you get creative. <laughs> And yeah, my ninjas again, I don't have too much to complaint about. I've, I've been there ever since and it's almost, it's going on almost two years. Oh man, they are always so nice in there. And I feel bad too, cause I like overstayed. <laughs> like they were closing, I was still in there. <laughs> yeah, I just had a bunch of stuff to do. Oh, and they gave me for croissants. Like, come on, pin. Damn. Oh, okay. uh, man, today was extremely busy. I don't know why I was so busy. I had a bunch of trailers and things come in, and then I got some shows that I still need to finish later. So, yeah, but I think right now, I think I'm calling it quits and I'm heading home. <laughs> but yeah, my ninjas, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you understand what I do. <laughs> and if you do understand, like, let me know, cause. I still don't understand what I need to do sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope that gives you a bit of an insight of like a little bit more about me. And if you have any more questions, just let me know in the comments below. And also, if you want to buy me a coffee and sports channel, the link is also down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, because y'all know I ain't a hater. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta wait for that bus to pass. That bus right there. <laughs> now I'll go get the shot. <laughs>